Thanks, Jay. As a world-renowned stage for the most artistically innovative, culturally rich, and socially relevant LGBT cinema, Frame Line 34 will feature works from first-time feature filmmakers, as well as new works from veterans of queer cinema. The festival program represents works examining the Latino, African American, Asian American, and Native American experiences, as well as our community's international stories. Over 200 films consisting of feature-length narratives and documentaries and short films will be screened at four venues in San Francisco and Berkeley with the Castro Theater serving as the main anchor for the festival. I'm joined by my colleagues Eric Chong at the Roxy Theater on 16th and Valencia and Alice Heimsoth at the Victoria Theater on 16th and Mission. And we'll start with Eric Chong who will highlight some of the festival's transgender films. Eric? Thanks, Raymond. For the Roxy Theater's 101st year of operation, the Independent Art House Theater behind me just received some new renovations in the lobby. The 34th San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival, or Frameline 34 for short, continues at the world premiere showcase for transgender films. And here are my picks of the litter. Being a male to female transsexual is not just about being a woman trapped in a man's body. In the documentary Trans Francisco, produced by Glenn Davis, we meet several trans women who review their difficult and sometimes hazardous lives, many who resort to survival prostitution. And again, I'll never know what it is to be a male, because if I was given that choice, I would have stayed that way. Tiffany and I met 18 years ago, obviously under different circumstances. I didn't meet Tiffany, I met somebody with a boy name, but immediately fell in love with the soul and the person that she is. Then I found out um, that she liked to wear women's clothes and found something important in her feminine side and we were able to kind of explore that together. There are other people who felt this way and we found out together that there's something is called transgender and we identified what that meant and evolved together as a as a couple. At first I didn't know where we're driving to. Um, I only remember going on the freeway at that time, I had not had my gender reassignment surgery, so I still have the genitalia of a man. They need to give us some space, you know, back up, let us, let us breathe, listen to our stories, because we've had to listen to yours. And if we get a chance to tell them they can see that we aren't any different than they are, that we eat, sleep, and just like they do, that we need jobs, we need employment, we have families, we have people to care about us, that we're not any different than anybody else. Elvis is a lesbian trying to raise money to help her dad, and Madonna is a drag performing gay man dreaming of putting on a spectacular new show. Can their new love for each other be sustained? Find out in filmmaker Marcello Lafitte's offbeat romantic comedy, Elvis and Madonna. Pega minha bolsa no quarto, viu? Ai, xerri. Que bom que você voltou. Nossa. Vamos entrar? Você tá maravilhosa. Para. Vamos entrar? Não, não, eu tô batida, tem que voltar. Ih, já entrou. Minuto só. Você quer beber alguma coisa? Ah, você tá de moto, né? Se beber, não dirija. Oi, eu sou o Bill. Beleza? E vê se daqui é a Elvis, hoje da guarda que eu te falei. Ah, foi ela então que naquela noite... Shhh, Bill! Vamos mudar de assunto, por favor? Olha assim, ó, você vai pegar a pizza agora, corta um pedaço e traz pra Elvis, tá? Não, na boa, não precisa mesmo, tem que voltar. Mas você que sabe, ó. Tá na mão. Minha bolsa. Ai. <risos> É você aqui nessa foto? Ah, é um show antigo meu, com a Filipeta. <risos> Olha, antes que o Carlos cobre a pizza de ontem, a de hoje, o truque é teu. Se precisar de alguma coisa de foto, eu sou fotógrafa. É mesmo? Fotógrafa? Ah, essa foto aqui tá boa. Essa pode ficar melhor. Jura? Vem cá, criatura, você vai fazer o que mais tarde? Tá de bobeira. Você não quer ir no meu show lá no Lamona? É? Ah, não gosto muito de boate, não. 
Mas se você vai cantar, de repente... Aí, de repente, você aparece por lá, tira umas fotos da minha pessoa pro book, é um jeito de você mostrar o teu trabalho e eu mostrar o meu. Se eu mostrar o teu, eu mostro o meu. Olha a banana. Então, tchau. Ué, você não vai comer? Não. Hoje não. Então tá, né? Vai, Xerri, te espero lá, né? Criatura, que boot é essa? Ela tava quase te comendo com os olhos. Ah, mas ela é uma fofa, né? Uma fofolita. Ah, fofolete, você quer dizer, porque isso dorme na caixa. <risos> mas Beth faria. Ah, ah. <risos> comer pizza. Frameline also has free screenings at the San Francisco LGBT Center every second Thursday. To find out more about the free screenings, point your web browser to frameline.org. The third venue for Frameline 34 takes place just one block east of me at the 102-year-old Victoria Theatre, where Alice Heimsel highlights lesbian-themed films that will be screened at the festival. Alice? Hey, Eric. The Victoria Theatre is 102 years old, so you know what? I beat you by a year. Located across the street from the 16th Street BART station, this city landmark seats 480. And if you remember the Frameline Audience award-winning film, The Gymnast, from a few years back, you're going to recognize one of the actresses in my list of films. In 1971, Director Joan Braderman follows her dream of becoming a filmmaker and joins a feminist art collective in the 1970s art world in Manhattan. In her first person account with interviews with 24 women, the Heretics Charts, the Feminist Collective, and extraordinary times they shared, challenging the terms of gender and power. Despite his 30 years of research, he was unable to answer one great question. What does a woman want? Do you remember when you thought it might be necessary to become a feminist? Oh, I would say it was four or five. <laughs> I never felt I became a feminist. It was and still is a big necessity. I didn't understand the word feminism, but I knew there was something wrong all the time with being a girl, always. I may have breasts and a c but that doesn't mean I can't do absolutely anything in the world. We're all there with the kind of equal adventure. That's the new raw territory. It's not Texas, it's not California. It's New York City in the very middle of it. And it's pure magic. I had joined a collective of feminists in the arts, women who felt like real peers. With our shared and profound commitment to rewriting the histories and future of women, we poured our dreams into the founding of our own journal, Heresies, a feminist publication on art and politics. You know, Art in America, Art News, Art Forum. I mean, we were publishing stuff that they would not have touched, and that made it so much sexier and fun. Fans of Loving Annabelle from Frameline 30 will be familiar with the subject. Bloomington is a coming-of-age drama about a former child actress attending college in search of independence. She ends up becoming romantically involved with a female professor, and their relationship thrives until an opportunity to return to acting forces her to make life-altering decisions. People being curious about you. I don't think we are formally introduced. Catherine Stark. Jacqueline Kirk. Ah, oh, right, the famous one. She sleeps with her students. Has she ever tried to do that with you? I don't think boys are exactly her bag. Squint your eyes and look closer. I'm not between you and your ambition. I am a poster girl with no poster. Jackie, I know you haven't read in a while, but something came in, and I really think you might want to take a look at it. And action. Have it under control, Dad. Don't worry about it. Set the thruster speed for me, will ya? You're not actually jealous, are you? I was totally kidding. Why do you care what I think? I mean, it's not like it's gonna matter when you're gone anyways. What's that supposed to mean? What do you think that means? Do you think that knowing every factoid about that little show of yours would make me a better mother? Why can't you just admit that I might have done something really good at some point? She's banging a teacher. It's the only reason she gets good grades. Lord knows she's too famous to go to class like the rest of us. <laughs> 